<laughs> I did not realize that you'd be awake. Did I keep my dear wife waiting? Really? I might be crazy, but your voice sounded like there was a hint of yearning in it for me. You're right. I went for longer than expected. The small group of bandits targeting the village turned out to be an entire army. Over 300 men. We were ambushed horribly and things got ugly. Mm-hmm, you heard. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you worried about me, huh? Well, do a better job at lying, maybe. Because you sound incredibly worried. Okay, evidence number one. It is nearly sunrise and you're awake. Don't act like the news of my return didn't reach you. I knew you were expecting me to come back tonight. Though, I did not think you would stay awake in hopes of seeing me. It is so unlikely of you to be romantically involved in our relationship. Dare I suggest that you're actually taking a liking to me after all this time? Well, say whatever you like. I'm incredibly happy that you stayed up for me. Okay, even if it wasn't for me, I was worried that my little pet would have forgotten about me after all these weeks. <laughs> but how can I stop calling you that? It makes you so irritated and you give me the most enjoyable reactions. Now, now, let's not get emotional over some teasing. Turn back and face me. I want to see your face while I drift off to sleep tonight. I want to feel your breath warm my skin. And I want to glance quick looks at you when you close your eyes. Although... The sight of your bare back isn't unpleasant either. Especially if I lower my gaze below the sheet. <laughs> In my defense, I have been surrounded by burly, ugly men, most of whom have been trying to kill me for some time now. I have not slept properly and I have survived off half a loaf of bread all this time. And worst of all, every time I closed my eye, I see your face haunting me. And all I could wonder about was when I'd get to see you next. So it is only natural if I yearn for you just a tiny bit. I was hoping to return to a worried wife who would readily be waiting to look after her husband's battle wounds and perhaps talk romantically as well. Mm hmm. Battle wounds. Uh, uh, I am not sure you're ready for the way I look yet. Well, aren't we a worried little wife? Are you going to make a big deal about all the little cuts across my body now? And maybe even help me clean the dirt off while giving me a talk on how I need to be more careful. Because I'd be happy to hear you nag me for a couple of minutes if I'm honest. 
I know you can't see. Um, there are some cuts across my stomach. None deep enough to be dangerous. And some bigger ones on my back and arms. They have been stitched, so sadly, you cannot tend to them dutifully as much as you'd like to. Oh, and one cheeky bastard got me on my eye. I look like a real cunt now. On the bright side, if all else fails, at least I will have a very, very strong prospective career as a pirate. Ow! Don't grab onto my face. You'll poke out my good eye too. Are you sure you want to see it? I feel like you've only just warmed up to me. And the new look that I'm sporting now, it, well, it might set me back a couple of steps. Hey, you're right. I usually don't get bested in combat. I'm still incredibly upset that I did. Well, initially, the reports we got were that a group of 10 to 20 bandits had seized a village and demanded a ransom. They had especially requested my presence to negotiate. When my men and I got there, suddenly, some two, three hundred men ambushed us on our way there. Even as strong as I am, I cannot fight ten men at once. I was dealt some pretty heavy blows, but we were able to retreat and survive the ambush. My wife, you may think of me as evil and as a horrible man, but please never confuse me for a coward. I would never leave a battle once it's begun. There was no coming back. We set up camp and waited for a backup to arrive. But then they ambushed our camp. You see, that's when I knew for certain that there was a traitor amongst my men. No one should have been able to find us. I had a tracker who knew those woods way too well. But he struck. There he is. You remember the guard who looked after you while you were imprisoned? Yes. It was him. That cunning bastard. Turned out to be a traitor after all. He caught me in the face with his dagger. But it was not enough. It's never enough. I finished him quickly after. But would you like to know what really bothers me? I couldn't help but think of all the times he was near you in this castle. With your necklace, you wouldn't have been able to defend yourself if he chose to attack you first. It really enrages me, thinking about what I'd do if something happened to you. You know, a part of me wishes I could trust you right now and take off that necklace right away. I'm sorry that I left you vulnerable for attack. What? Are you sure you want to see my eye? Well, I will warn you, it is... It's not opening yet. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see out of this eye again. Well, as you wish, my wife. Do you hate me even more now? <laughs> At least you can joke about it. I thought you would be angrier than this. No, it does not hurt. 
I just have to let it rest and hope for the best. Hope that it heals. Do not let it worry you, my sweet Amazon. This is just a scratch. I will live. Why? Uh, of course. Don't I know better than to question you? <laughs> As you wish. Huh. That does feel nice. The coolness of your breath brushing against the surface of my wound. It feels so soft. I think you could put me to sleep in an instant at this rate. I suppose. I enjoy you worrying about me. It is a good feeling. Matter of fact. Let me lie down for a second or two. You can lean over me and keep blowing your cool air on my eye. No, -uh. I am selfish, and I want your complete and utter personal attention. <laughs> Thank you. And what have you been up to since I have gone? So what you're saying is that a part of you missed my presence. Though it is entirely understandable for you to slowly lose your mind with no one to talk to. How about I make it up to you? Let me steal a day's rest for myself, then we can travel to a spring near the Caesar Cliff. It's rumored that the spring has water so fresh that it feels like magic on the skin, and it's incredibly healing. Furthermore, we can travel alone on our horses and have some more private time together. We can even bathe. Would you like to accompany me. <laughs> okay, it is settled. Now, we should really blow off the candle and warm each other up. It's far too... Hey. What are those bruises on your neck? Here, around the back of your neck. What happened? So you kept up to date with your training. That is good. Who was your sparring partner? M Maximus. Maximus the gladiator. Yes, that is a huge problem. I do not permit you to spar with another man. Stop, stop, wait. You're not allowed to backtrack on your words. No, I will not let you fix this misunderstanding. I understood completely. Listen, Diana, you are my wife. It is entirely wrong for you to be in close range with another man. I, I don't care. Wait for me to come back to resume your training or train with the female gladiators. I really mean it, you're not allowed to be touched by another man like that. Especially if it's causing bruises on your neck. Understand? What is so funny about this? <laughs> Jealous. Me. 
I do not have time for pitiful behavior like that. I could not care less. I feel no romantic attachment to you. I... Just sparring with another man is wrong. I don't care if I misunderstood what you said. No man can touch you, only me. Did he, did he pin you? Ah, oh, nobody pins my wife. Understand? <sighs> Listen to me. I am your husband. Me. Me. Me, okay? No other man is allowed to pin you down but me. No other man is allowed to grab your hands like this and be this close to you other than me. And if anyone is leaving bruises on your neck, it will definitely be me. And I will hover over you like this till you promise me. Promise me that the only one who gets to touch you like this will be me. I know you are still not entirely happy with this marriage, but I am not sharing you with anyone. You are mine. My wife, my woman, my empress, my Amazonian princess. Understand? No man gets to touch you. I will break his hands if I must. Oh, hush up. This is not the time for teasing me. I am tired and I am angry. Tell me you understand completely. Tell me you will fulfill your promise to me as my wife. Oh, I don't care that you hate that title. At least don't laugh at me for... Okay, fine, if you aren't laughing at me for calling you my wife, then why are you laughing? Why do you think this is so comedic? What misunderstanding are you on about? Who? You trained with Maximus's sister? So not with him. So these bruises on your neck weren't from him. I will let go of your wrist and get off of you. Accept my apologies, Diana. I really misunderstood what you were saying. Perhaps this battle took a bigger toll on me than I care to admit. I was not jealous. I'm just setting some boundaries, that's all. Yes, yes, by pinning you, and I will do it a hundred more times. It's been weeks. Since I last saw you. So just... Excuse me if I'm feeling a little emotional. Just the thought of you, even being touched by another man, enrages me a lot. I know that you haven't completely come to terms with the fact that I am your husband. Sometimes you act like you hate me for that. But that does not mean that I'm okay with any of the... I'm just not okay with another man being near you, that's all. What? It's because you bring so much tension. 
You know, most wives usually help take away tension. Maybe you should do that. Well, have you tried bedding me? Because that certainly would help. Well, if that's not on the table, then... Hold on to my arm. Tighter. We are not roommates. You're my wife. Hold on to me like... Like I mean something to you. There. You know, I hate admitting this, but... The past two, three weeks were not easy being away from you. I didn't think I would be missing you so much. Hmm, I was. I thought about you a lot. And it pisses me off because you probably couldn't even give me a second thought. And here I am, perhaps on the verge of death, thinking about you consistently. Like an idiot. Really? You thought about me? Well, what, what did you think about me? What was I doing in your thoughts? Hmm. That's not very romantic. What? No, I am not upset with you. Well, I don't know why I sound like it. I'm not upset at you. No, I am still not jealous. It's over. The jealousy part is over. Come closer. Because I will not bite. Now come closer. It's cold and you need some more heat. That's why. Yes, you do. I can see that you're shivering. Come closer. I am not that evil, you know. What else did you think about? Did you think about me pinning you? I did. Quite often. I guess I got so used to it. After our training sessions. I like looking down at you. <laughs> yeah. You always look so annoyed when I pin you. What can I say? A part of me really, really enjoys pissing you off. But you can't say that you aren't the same. <laughs> yes, you do. You enjoy annoying me all the time. This is a weird relationship we have, you know. It wouldn't hurt showing some affection every once in a while, you know. It could even be a little nice. <laughs> okay, I'll get started then. You... ...are my wife, and you should be grateful for it. Okay, fine, I'll try better. I... I feel like I can trust you more than before and you are not bad okay you make a decent wife yes decent not great because you tease me all the time your turn say something affectionate about me
What? I have a big head? How is that even a compliment? Smart. That does not correlate at all. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that's an insult. Gee, I guess I'll take your broken compliment. You could at least say I have a pretty face. <laughs> well, you have a pretty face. Yeah. Pretty stupid face. <laughs> Don't even try that. Mm -mm. No, I know what you're going to do. You're gonna poke my belly. That's not cool. Uh-uh. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Amazon. You have some weird traditions. You haven't even told me what that means, by the way. Why do you poke someone's belly? I'll figure it out when I'm supposed to figure it out. Wow, that's just perfect, isn't it? Okay. I think I'm gonna rest my eyes now. What? Seriously? That's too soon. <laughs> Come close. Yeah. Here. I'll even rub your neck. Do these bruises hurt? <laughs> of course nothing hurts you. You're an Amazon. Mm -mm. These cars don't hurt either. <laughs> I'm Emperor. I have to be strong. Mm -hmm. Both of us. It's our job. 